Hi guys, so I thought I would do something a little bit fun and different and talk about the kitty body types of teddy bears. So I will leave links in the description for the reference photos I used of teddy bears for my drawings and we'll discuss the lines that look best on them and everything like that. My subscriber question today is the difference between soft classic, soft natural, and romantic and it is definitely a rabbit hole. That's why this video is so long so I hope you will stay tuned for that and find Finally, I did set up a donation page. People have been asking me for this for a while, so if you guys are interested in donating, then the link is down below and it would fill my heart with joy if you guys donated and I would be so grateful and so happy. So now let's get into the video. So first we have Dramatic. So this teddy bear, he has a pretty long vertical line and his shoulders are pretty sharp, his arms are pretty long, and his feet are also pretty angular, and his snout is also a little bit angular, and his ears are pretty sharp and angled, and his eyes are almond-shaped and small. And you can see that when he puts on some stiff fabric, some geometrics there, like on the left, then I think he looks really awesome. And then on the right, when he tries to put on something very frilly, very lightweight fabrics, very intricate detailing, then that can look a little bit separate from him. And I think he looks much better on the left. So now we have a natural teddy bear. So he is soft yang dominant. So you could see the width in his shoulders. You can see that his arms and legs are a bit longer, but they're also a bit wider. And you can see that his ears and his snout are bluntly angular. They're not sharp, but they are also a little bit wide and angular. And he looks amazing in this unconstructed sweater there with the free-flowing hair like on the left and I think it really brings out his unique look. But on the right, I think he also looks great, but I think that on the left he looks much better and I think on the right maybe that's a little bit too frilly and it looks a little bit separate from him and it doesn't really accentuate his unique look as well as the look on the left. Next up is a classic teddy bear. So this teddy bear doesn't necessarily have any sharp features, nor does he have any very rounded features. It's all pretty much in the middle. He doesn't have a long vertical line, but he doesn't necessarily look completely tiny either. So he is very balanced between yin and yang. And when he puts on something very simple, like on the left, with some simple hair, no sharp geometrics, but nothing too soft or frilly either, then I think he looks amazing like there on the left but on the right when he puts on something very frilly I feel like he doesn't look bad for sure but at the same time he looks maybe a little bit overdone because his bone structure and his lines are more balanced so he looks very good in minimal detail and a more balanced look like on the left Next up, we have Romantic. So this teddy bear is very yin dominant. So everything about him is very rounded. He has a short vertical line, so he looks very small and very tiny. His arms and legs are short and his feet are also very rounded and his ears and his snout are all very rounded as well. And he looks so amazing when he works with his rounded lines and he wears some very light fabrics, some very intricate detailing, very very, very yin look and on the right when he puts on something like very stiff fabrics and has a more geometric haircut then that can look a little bit miserable on him and he can look like a little bit overpowered by it and like he's drowning in that outfit a little bit on the right. I don't think he looks bad but I think he looks much better on the left than he does on the right. And finally, we have Gamine. So this teddy bear has a mixture of opposites. So his vertical line is pretty short, so he looks pretty small, but at the same time, his nose is pretty angular, I'm sorry, his snout is pretty angular and his ears are also pretty sharp and angular and his arms are pretty long. I couldn't really tell what his shoulders were, but this is a good example of, you know, if you don't know the answer to a question on the Kibi body types test, there are 15 questions. You can just omit that one question that you might not know the answer to. It's okay. You can still get your Kibi body type by omitting a question that you may not be sure about. Even omitting the shoulders question, we 
can still see that this teddy bear is a gamine and he looks amazing in the contrasting trim, the very fitted blazer like there on the left and a pixie cut and you can see that on the right that sort of overly frilly very yin type of a look might look a little tiny bit separate from him i don't think he looks bad on the right but i think that on the left those lines really complement the lines of his body really really well so I hope you guys can see that KB body typing even works for teddy bears and that's because I really believe that KB body typing or the KB system is something very fundamental about the lines and the lines of the body and the different things that will complement those lines. So it's more about that and not so much about cultural norms or anything of that nature. So I hope that you enjoyed that little segment. Let me know what you think. And now let's get get into the subscriber question today. So I receive a lot of questions about the difference between these three body types in one way or another. What's the difference between soft natural and romantic? What's the difference between soft classic and soft natural or soft natural and romantic, etc. So I thought I would sort of combine them and answer that question or those multiple questions here right now. So before I get into discussing the differences between these three types, I do want to note something that I noticed and I feel like this is partially the cause of some confusion and it's this over focus on the things on the left and an under focus on or even neglect of the features on the right and you can see that the list on the right is much longer and the list on the left is much shorter so when i'm discussing these three body types soft classic romantic and soft natural i really want to focus on all of the features and take the body type as a whole and talk about the differences and hopefully we can cover some of the more neglected or less focused on features as well. So let's get started. So we have Selena Gomez, soft natural on the left, and if you guys are interested, I have a soft natural video where I talk about Selena and all of the different clothes that she wears in a lot of depth, so you can check out more images of her there, but Selena is soft natural on the left. In the middle, we have soft classic, Marianne Cotillard, and on the right, we have Beyonce, romantic. So to understand the difference between romantic and soft natural, you can look at the bones. It's all about the bones. So you can take a look, Selena on the left, she has wider bones and she also has longer bones. Her arms and legs are longer and she has a long vertical line. So she or a slightly long vertical line, she looks a bit taller than she actually is. So Selena Gomez is 5'5", five five. and on the right we have Beyonce, and Beyonce is romantic, and she also has some width to her, but what is the difference between Beyonce's width and Selena's width? So Beyonce looks much shorter than she actually is. Beyonce is actually taller than Selena. Beyonce is 5'7", and Selena is 5'5", five five. but Beyonce looks like she is maybe 5'4", and she looks really tiny and that's because her head is really big compared to the rest of her body so it makes her body look really small and really dainty another difference is that her arms and legs might be a little bit wide but they're also short while selena's arms and legs are wide and long so that is a yin characteristic for beyonce the shortness of her arms and legs but please don't take these as the absolutes that every single romantic has to have have a large head or every single soft natural has to have long and wide arms and legs. We are just looking at the overall look and how these features really combine for these ladies to make their body type. So one single feature is not going to make or break your entire body type and make you another body type altogether. So please keep that in mind as I discuss these features. Some similarities between Beyonce and Selena are that they both have pretty yin flesh. They have pretty soft flesh on top of their skeletons, but their skeletons are different from each other, just like we have just discussed. But you can see that Selena has a bit of a longer waist and Beyonce is more short-waisted. Now, this is just one feature. You could be soft natural and have a short waist, but that is a feature of a natural body type in general is to have that long slightly straight waist as well so that is one of selena's soft yang elements on the left there but now let's talk about marianne cotillard so she is in the middle and she's in the middle because she's actually in between she is in between romantic and 
natural so she is soft classic and you can see that her arms and legs are not as wide or as long as Selena's, but at the same time, they're not as short as Beyonce's. She doesn't look as short as Beyonce looks, but she doesn't look as tall as Selena looks, and her bones are not as large in general as Selena's bones. But at the same time, she is not as curvy and as uh, yin as Beyonce is so everything is in the middle her vertical line is kind of in the middle everything is in the middle she is not exactly as rounded as dainty and small looking as Beyonce another thing to think about is the wrists and the hands on these ladies so you can see on Beyonce even though her arms and legs are short and maybe slightly wide her wrists are so so small and so delicate and her hands are also so small and so delicate and Marion is in the middle her wrists are not as thin and delicate as Beyonce's wrists but they're also not as thick as Selena's wrists so Selena's wrists are thick because her hands are a little bit wider as well and her arms the bones of her arms are also a little bit wider than the other two ladies so that is the natural skeleton that Selena has there but you don't have to go into a deep analysis to see the differences the holistic differences between these three ladies so you can see again on the left Selena looks like she has simply bigger bones than the other two ladies so her jawline is a bit wider than the other two ladies her vertical line is longer so she looks taller and Marianne Cotillard is in the middle so she doesn't look as blunt and angular and wide as Selena does but she also doesn't look as rounded and soft as Beyonce does so overall you can see the look of each body type even without analyzing in depth having said all of that let's continue to analyze in depth what I realized is that it might be difficult for people to tell the difference between these three body types because they all have something in common and it's that they have added yin. And what happens when you have added yin, this added softness, is that it can obscure the skeleton. So it can, if you have soft cheeks, it's hard to tell what the shape of the cheekbones and the jawline actually is. If you have very soft flesh, it might be hard to tell the shape of the bones underneath that soft flesh that added yin. So what I tried to do was I tried to find some ladies that have similar bone structure to the ladies that we're talking about, but they are different kibbe types, but they have a similar bone structure, but their flesh is taut and I want to compare their faces. And hopefully doing that is going to shed some light on what we're really looking for in the bones of these ladies and we can then compare the three ladies, our three main examples side by side and see what we can, what we can find in their similarities and differences in their features and in their bone structure. So let's get into it. So you guys might know that flamboyant gamines have primarily yin bone structure but yang flesh and they are a mixture of opposites but still that's one of their characteristics. So I found an image of Jennifer Love Hewitt who is a flamboyant gamine on Kibi's list and I hope that we can sort of try to see some similarities between her bone structure and Beyonce's bone structure. So Jennifer has a pretty yin bone structure to her face. Let's get this out of the way so I think her nose is answer A, her nose is pretty yang, but I think that her cheekbones are actually quite similar to Beyonce's cheekbones. They're very delicate and very dainty. They're not very angular they're not very wide or blunt and also her jawline is tapered in just like Beyonce so you can see that if Jennifer had some more soft cheeks on her on her bone structure then her face would look very similar to Beyonce's face but because she has taut cheeks we can really see her bone structure so I think that Beyonce's bone structure in terms of her cheekbones and her jawline is quite similar to Jennifer's 
Next, let's compare some classic bone structures. So Nina Dobrev on the right, she is dramatic classic and she has a quite a similar bone structure to Marion on the left, who is a soft classic, but Marion has more softness in her cheeks and in her features. So that can obscure some of that bone structure, her jawline, as well as her cheekbones. And they both have pretty similar cheekbones and pretty similar jawlines. And I hope you can see the difference that that their cheekbones and jawlines are not necessarily so delicate like Jennifer Love Hewitt's was and like Beyonce's were, but they are more in the middle. They're not broad and they're also not very angular. They're simply in the middle. They're not too delicate. They're not too blunt or anything like that. And you can see their noses are a little bit different. So I would say that Nina's nose is a tiny bit sharper than Marianne's nose, and Marianne's nose is a bit softer, but I would still call both of those noses answer C noses in the grand scheme of things, in the grand continuum of noses. So next up we have natural. So you can see that on the right we have Cameron Diaz who is flamboyant natural, so her cheeks are quite taut, and Selena has very round cheeks, and that's a part of her yin undercurrent as a soft natural, but I hope you can also see the similarities in their bone structure. Underneath Selena's very soft cheeks, are very wide and strong cheekbones and a pretty strong jawline as well. And their noses are also quite similar. They are pretty wide and a little bit broad and they're not soft. They are a little bit more angular, their noses. So they aren't necessarily like Marilyn Monroe's very soft and rounded nose. So you can see that they have some similarities in their bone structure. And I think seeing them side by side can really help sort of focus what the bone structure is and also what the bone structure looks like with softness on top of it. Now that we have explored what the bone structure looks like with softness on top of it and what we're looking for in terms of the bone structure, let's now compare our original examples, Beyonce and Selena. Selena is soft, natural, Beyonce romantic. And after exploring the bone structures of romantics versus naturals, I think we can see more clearly the differences in Selena's face and Beyonce's face. So Selena has some bigger bones, some wider bones, some stronger bones holding up that softness. That softness is covering some larger bones there. But on Beyonce, you can't really say the same thing. Even though Beyonce's flesh actually looks a little bit more taut than Selena's flesh, and it could be because Beyonce is a tiny bit older that her cheeks are not as soft as Selena's, but you can still see that Beyonce's face and the lines of her face are all rounded, all very delicate, and even if Beyonce's flesh was even tauter, her lines of her face, her cheekbones, and her jawline would all still be very rounded, very dainty, and very delicate. But if Selena had very taut skin, you would be able to see those wider cheekbones and the slightly bluntly angular jawline. So now let's compare Selena to Marion. So Marion is soft classic and Selena is soft natural. And so we have the same sort of thing where we have some softness on both of these ladies and it obscures the bone structure a little bit, but you can still see that Selena's bones are wider and a bit stronger and Marion's bones are a little bit more delicate, not as delicate as Beyonce's bones. They're kind of in the middle, but underneath that softness of uh, Marion's face, you can still see a very balanced bone structure. Not too blunt, not too delicate, not too angular, not too rounded, nothing like that. It's a very balanced, and by balanced I mean, of course, balanced between yin and yang. Soft classics can get their yin undercurrent from anything. It does not mean that all soft classics have a classic bone structure, but their yin undercurrent comes from their flesh. That's not what this means. So this is just a random example of a soft classic who happens to have some of her yin undercurrent coming from her cheeks and her eyes, but you can get your yin undercurrent as a soft classic from 
anywhere really from any aspect of your body but for a soft natural your yin undercurrent comes from the flesh primarily and the bones will be larger and more blunt and the flesh is softer so soft naturals yin undercurrent pretty much has to come primarily from the flesh and the facial features but soft classics yin undercurrent can really come from anywhere so comparing these three ladies side by side now you can see that they have some similarities in some softness in their face but they also have some difference in facial bones i would say that to summarize selena's face as well as marion's face both have a bit more structure to them they have stronger bones than romantic faces do than Beyonce's face does. So you can see that Beyonce's face is all very rounded, her bone structure is rounded, her flesh is soft, and in the middle we have a balanced bone structure and so it's not too blunt and it's not too delicate and soft but with some softness on top maybe for the yin undercurrent and on the left we have some pretty strong bones and a strong bone structure with some soft cheeks and some soft lips for the yin undercurrent and if you compare more images of these ladies faces you can see the same thing you can see the difference in their jawlines right away so selena's jawline is a bit more blunt and a bit wider marion's jawline is sort of in the middle between selena's and beyonce's and beyonce's jawline is very soft and tapered and in the same way their noses so the nose on the left on Selena is a bit wider and all it takes is for it to be just a tiny bit wider and now it is a natural nose and Marion's nose is primarily a classic nose. It's not so wide, not so blunt, not so soft. It's just in the middle and Beyonce's nose is delicate and pretty rounded even though she has some contouring there I'm sure. It looks like Beyonce has some contouring on her cheeks and on her nose but still you can see that her nose is a lot softer and a lot more dainty than the other two ladies noses. And their cheekbones follow the same trend so we have the strongest cheekbones on the left and the most delicate cheekbones on the right. But having talked about all of this for the past 10 hours, I really think still that the best judge of all of this is simply the clothing. So when we compare these three ladies wearing classic lines, we can see that, well, in my opinion, I think Marion in the middle looks the absolute best in classic lines. I think that Selena doesn't really look her personal best, although she doesn't look that bad. Um, and in the same way, be Beyonce also is not really allowing her true unique beauty to shine through either in classic lines while Marion in the middle just looks absolutely amazing and I think Selena looks maybe like it's a little bit too stiff of a look for her. Selena looks better in more unconstructed, sort of relaxed lines. Now let's compare these three ladies wearing some natural lines and you can see that I think Selena on the left looks the best in natural lines and on a classic. Natural lines are probably the worst thing for a classic to wear. They can look very sloppy and very not put together in very draped and unconstructed styles and romantics can look like it's a little bit puffy on them. They can even, natural lines on a romantic can make them look maybe a little bit heavier than they actually are and I think Beyonce there doesn't necessarily, I mean she doesn't look bad obviously none of these ladies look bad they are celebrities they look awesome but i don't think beyonce looks her personal best at all there i think that it is just too unconstructed for her there on the right and of course selena looks just right she looks right at home in those natural lines so if you are in doubt just try the clothing my video on how to find your type through clothing is perfect for this kind of dilemma because this is where you can just try on the main types clothing so you can try on simply natural simply classic and simply romantic clothing and you will be able to tell your type pretty easily if you take some photos and i'll leave a link to that video down below but let's move on finally to romantic lines on these ladies 
So on the left, we have Selena wearing some romantic lines, and I'm pretty surprised. I, I don't think she really looks too bad there. I really thought it would look a little bit worse, but I still think that it looks a teeny tiny bit awkward on her, maybe. Like, maybe she's trying to fit her more relaxed, larger bones into a very small, delicate type of a dress, and it looks maybe a tiny bit awkward. And Mariana in the middle, I think that she looks okay. I think classics look okay and everything, but at the same time, her beauty is really obscured with all of this extra detail. We're distracted from her and she risks looking a little bit plain and a little bit forgettable because her beauty is really in the simplicity of her lines and in the balance of her body. And when she adds all this extra stuff, all of that balance sort of takes a back seat and she can look quite plain plain in my opinion in those very overly glamorous looks. And finally we have Beyonce and of course Beyonce is right at home in her romantic look so it's very very feminine, very intricate, very glamorous, and she just looks her personal best there in my opinion. I think she looks amazing there. But for those of you who keep saying or keep thinking that soft classics are plain, and I don't know if this is a matter of taste, but I don't think there's anything plain about Marianne Cotillard. I think she is absolutely gorgeous, and I think she is unforgettable, and I don't think that she is plain whatsoever. It's only when she doesn't wear her own lines that her balance and the unique balance of her body really takes a back seat and you don't see her beauty but when she wears her own lines like on the left there I think she looks so amazing and she looks really really unique there and not boring at all I think she looks so awesome and um, yeah I wanted to share that with you and break that misconception hopefully okay well thank you so much for watching that is it and if you are still here, I feel like I say this at every single video because all of my videos are so long. If you're still here, thank you so much for being here. Leave me a comment, leave a question for my next video, and I hope that I can cover it. Thank you for watching.